This is CPE for Kids, a Bible Truth Ministry. Hi, Teacher Debbie. Can you tell me a new story? I sure can, sweetie. What kind of story would you like to hear? How about a scary story? Yes, tell me a scary story. If you insist, I do know a pretty scary story from the book of Luke. But remember, you asked for it. It's story time for kids. As usual, some of our characters will be pretending to be Bible characters. We do this to bring God's stories to life. Thanks for your understanding. Now there was a certain rich man, and he was clothed in purple and fine linen, living in luxury every day. A certain beggar, named Lazarus, was taken to his gate, full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. Yes, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The beggar died, and he was carried away by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and was buried. In Hades, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his bosom. He cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue. For I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you, in your lifetime, received your good things, and Lazarus, in the same way, bad things. But here he is now comforted, and you are in anguish. Besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, that those who want to pass from here to you are not able, and that no one may cross over from there to us. He said, I ask you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, so they won't also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said to him, they have Moses and the prophets, let them listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if one rises from the dead. I told you it was a scary story. What was that place where that bad guy was at? We call that place Hades. It's where unforgiven sinners go to because they didn't want God's forgiveness. Why don't they want forgiven teacher Debbie? Mostly because people are stubborn and disobedient. Also most people are too busy entertaining themselves rather than be concerned about their eternity. Please kids, take it serious. We need to make peace with God. That way we won't go to that place where the bad guy was. We must realize that we are sinners, we do everything bad and God is very angry with us. However, God is merciful and forgiving. He sent his son Jesus to earth, and he was put to death on a cross to pay for all the sins we will ever do in this lifetime. However forgiveness is not automatic. We need to ask Jesus for God's forgiveness, and then we need to receive it. It's a free gift. 
We need to stop trying to be good to get to heaven and simply admit we have failed and need a Savior. Jesus died to be our Savior and rose to be our Lord. Bye bye precious ones.